Hey yo, what's up YouTube? It's I Can Swim here. Today I'm going to be bringing you another great tech tutorial video. So what we're doing today is we're going to clone a hard drive absolutely free. So to do this, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need our internal hard drive, and ex like another hard drive that we're going to be copying the files to. You're going to need an external hard drive connector that'll connect to a USB port. I'm using SIG's USB 2.0 to SATA slash IDE. And you're gonna need your computer. And that's it. So what we're gonna do first is we're actually gonna download this little tool. And I'm, I don't wanna call it a piece of software because it doesn't actually install. It's just a little self-contained program that creates a bootable file on an external thing, like a USB drive or a CD, or if you have an external drive, you can create it on that. It doesn't really matter. So what we're gonna search is EASE US Disk Copy Home Edition. And just click search, and it's gonna be the first one. Just It's just gonna take you to the EASIS um, homepage, and that's where you download it. And you're just going to click free download and just enter whatever your email is. Um, that's just mine. And then we'll just click download. And it takes, it'll take a few minutes because it's 43 megabytes. But once it's done, we're just going to open that up. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to skip to that. But you can always pause the video while you're downloading and then start it again when you're done. So anyways, we're done with Internet Explorer now, so we can just exit out of that. Now you're going to go to where the file saved. Um, it's usually, it'll usually be in like the downloads folder or wherever you usually download your programs. So I'm just going to zoom in there for you guys. So mine's just in the downloads folder. And then when you, when you located the file, you're just going to double click it. It's going to be the, um, it's just going to say Isis disk copy home and it's just going to be an exe file because it's not actually it's not a setup or an installer so you're just going to double click it and it's going to ask you what you want to do so again this is what i was talking about you can it's going to create a bootable program on either a cd usb drive or an iso now, I usually do USB because they're easy to carry around, you know, you can usually get them for cheap or most people have them lying out around already. So whatever your decision is, you just click on that tab and then you're going to click proceed and it's going to create the file for you. Um, well, I'll just do this for demonstration processes. Um, so you can see it did it successfully. That's it. So now you can exit out of that. Everything's done from there. Now you're gonna you're gonna see that it it'll f if you have a USB drive that already has something on it, it'll format it because it needs all the space to create the bootable files. Like the boot files get stored in their own place, and it needs it needs maximum capacity for that. So once that's all done and you have your USB or CD or whatever else you might have, an external hard drive, um, you're gonna shut down your computer, but before you do this, make sure you have your device plugged in that you have the bootable file on. Now, if it's a USB drive, I mean, most people can figure that out. You know, if you have, if you have CD and it's already burned, you just put it in your CD drive. If you don't have it burned, you can always download a free a free burning tool and Windows Windows actually provides one as well that isn't too bad but if you want like a, like a higher end one you can always do like ISO burner or there's a million of them out there you can just search it in Google but once you have that done I'm just gonna skip over that whole process once you have that done we're gonna restart our computer um, and then we're gonna boot into that into the bootable device we just created um, so you can do restart. I'm doing shutdown because it skips the boot, the splash screen on my, on my Toshiba for some reason. But 
Anyways, that's a that's another argument there. So when you have that done, we will continue. So as you can see, mine's just gonna reboot quickly. All right, so as you can see here, it's gonna say starting in your top corner. This piece of software doesn't have anything too, I guess, visually pleasing. It's very basic. So it'll just load that basic screen. You can see the little logo up there. Nothing really exciting about it. Focus. And then this is the clicker it uses while it loads for some reason, but that's not important. So this wizard is going to come up now. So it's going to say, welcome to the disk copy wizard. This wizard will help you to copy your hard disk or partition to another location. And what this actually does is it's going to create everything exactly as your current hard drive is. So if you have... If you have, let's say, a Windows 8 operating system installed with sensitive files on it that you need to put on another drive because your current ones may be getting old or whatever, it'll do that and it does it in a way that'll allow you to boot as if, as if it was your original drive. So it's going to copy all the system files, all the system settings exactly as they were. So when you swap out the hard drives, it will, it will, it will boot up just like your old system, your old hard drive, sorry. So this little simple wizard is just going to do all that for you. So what this does is it's going to it's going to do all the work for you. We just have to sit back and enjoy the ride. You know, have a beer in the meantime. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to click next to continue. It'll just Oh, um before I forget, make sure you have your external um hard drive connector plugged in and it it'll usually be a USB connector to your to your current PC. Make sure that's plugged in before you shut down so that it has it has somewhere to store the files otherwise it's gonna give you an error. So after you ensure you have your external drive plugged in you're gonna click next and you're gonna click disk copy or if you need to partition whatever that's that's just another great feature of this software. Anyways we're doing disk copy so this is gonna clone your hard drive exactly as is so we're going to do disk copy and then next and it'll come up with a list of all your drives. You do, you pick the one you want to copy to and mine's a 298 gig Toshiba hard drive. We're going to click next. Just next a bunch of times and proceed. And this this will just come up because it wants to ensure that you know you don't have any sensitive information on that drive that you're gonna override. It's like it's like your insurance policy, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so you just click yes, that's fine, and it's gonna do all this for you. So you can see that mine's doing all this right now, so yours is probably doing the same. So I'll be right I'll be back when it finishes. So once the copying is done. You will get you will get a message displaying that it has successfully been completed. Now, once this is done, you can either press the done button and it will it will take you back to this screen you're seeing, or you can press the quit button and that will actually shut down your computer and shut down the program. So we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and press quit and I'm gonna shut down my computer, put in the hard drive we just 
cloned and then we'll boot it up and show you what it looks like. So we'll see in a we'll see in a few minutes. So as you can see, everything is back to the way it was. We successfully cloned the hard drive and now it works just like before. As soon as it was done cloning, I was able to boot right into the operating system as if nothing happened except for more space, but in this case it was an example so it's less space. And that's why you can see less icons, because I had to remove some stuff and optimize it so I could show you around and show you that everything still works. So like we can still get on the internet and search whatever, you know. We can go we can still go to YouTube and do all do all that stuff, you know. Just to prove I'm connected. And there you go. So everything still works. Everything's everything's good, fresh, ready to go, and now you have even more space to work with. So that's how you clone a hard drive. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, just leave it in the comments section below. And until next time, we'll see you later.